with tomorrow being the opening day of flounder season, April 1st here in New York, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick chum bomb. Uh, it's another way of chumming for flounder. It works really good. It gets your chum right under your boat. It's a simple little paper bag, as you can see right here. A sink or some line. I like to use a snap swivel, and you can either use a rubber band or a wire tie to secure your bag. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your typical children's lunch bag and you're going to have your either spider crabs, mussels, clams, any type of bait that you crush up and you're going to fill this bag right here. So you're going to simply open the bag. Obviously I'm not putting all this stuff in there right now. I'm just going to use some sample stuff. So you have your bag and let's just say these are all your crushed up mussels. They go into the bag. Let's say you got some crushed up spider crabs. We'll throw them in a the bag. By the way, spider crabs are excellent chum. You get those, crush them up, send them right back down. They're awesome. So here's our crabs. Throw all that stuff into the bag. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this bag, squish it up, and do a couple twists. Okay, so now that bag is filled with everything. It's going to start getting wet quick in the bag. You know, it doesn't hold up too well, so it's going to break free. So try to do this pretty quick. Then what I do is I'll either take a rubber band and do a couple wraps right into there. Try to keep it below where that twist was so it stays secure. There's one. And I'll just do a second one just to be secure. Of course, when you're looking through the camera screen, it's not as easy. But I would do a second one, but for now, I'll just do the single real quick on here. So you can see you have that rubber band right on there now, securing that bag shut, and all your chum particles are in there. And then simply open up your snap swivel here, pop your rubber band in there, and close it shut. So that's basically what it's going to look like. And then what happens is you drop this down to the bottom. I happen to have this on a wheel, as you can see with this high vis line. So you drop this down to the bottom. It sits down on the bottom. Wait a few minutes. Let that bag get nice and wet and you just pull it up. And as you get, you feel that weight come off the bottom, you do a quick pop, pop, and you'll just feel the weight will disappear and that bag will just fall to the bottom. And you know, the bag's biodegradable. All those chum particles will start coming out as that bag disintegrates. And now you have chum directly under the boat. Another way to do it, if you didn't have the, uh, the rubber band on here, show you real quick let's just say I didn't have that rubber band on there as you have your snap swivel take a simple wire tie wrap it around your bag through the swivel and again you could also have a, a knot a, uh, just a loop knot on the rope would be fine too on the line so simple swivel take it snug it tight and that's another way that's secured now too as you can see to the bag and that's basically your flounder chum bomb. Again, this is gonna be filled with crabs, mussels, clams, anything, corn if you wanna throw it in there. You know, fill that bag up nice, get it down there, and again, it instantly starts your chum slick directly under the boat. This also works really good um, if you want a blackfish. Take all your crab legs and uh, don't throw them overboard. Put them in a bucket, fill up one of these bags with all that crab particles, the legs, the old chunks that you might not use after it's been bitten up by a blackfish. Take all of that, crush it up, throw it in a bag and send it down on your racks and you'll watch what happens with the blackfish. It's a great, great little um, uh, thing to use to get these fish biting. You know, you're gonna get that chum directly under the boat. And of course, you know, the key to uh, success also is double anchoring. So when you double anchor, that boat's not gonna swing. So again, everything that you're putting down there is right under your boat where your baits are gonna be and your chum and everything. So hope you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, please subscribe, click the like button, leave comments if you like, and uh, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.